So the word defibrillator for today, we we trust in God for a word from within the word. 1 Corinthians 13, and that's from the Amplified Classic Edition, remembering it's expanding out of the King James Version. Love endures, this is verse 4. Love endures long and is patient and kind. Love never is envious nor boils over with jealousy. It's not boastful or vainglorious, does not display itself haughtily. It does not. It is not conceited, arrogant and inflated with pride. It is not rude, unmannerly and does not act unbecomingly. Love, God's love in us, does not insist on its own rights or its own way. For it is not self-seeking. It's not touchy or fretful or resentful. It takes no account of the evil done to it. It pays no attention to a suffered wrong. It does not rejoice at injustice and unrighteousness, but rejoices when right and truth prevail. Love bears up under anything and everything that comes. It's ever ready to believe the best of every person. Its hopes are fadeless under all circumstances, and it endures everything without weakening love never fails never fades out or becomes obsolete or comes to an end as for prophecy the gift of interpreting the divine will and purpose it will be fulfilled and pass away as for tongues they will be destroyed and cease as for knowledge it will pass away it will lose its value and be superseded by truth for our knowledge is fragmented, incomplete, and imperfect, and our prophecy, our teaching is fragmentary, incomplete, and imperfect. But when it, when the complete and perfect total comes, the incomplete and imperfect will vanish away, become equated, void, and superseded. Love will never fade. How beautiful is that? And that's amazing. Especially when it's around Valentine's Day, because isn't it around love? Well, here's your love letter to you, coming from God himself. Before you even knew of me, before you were even aware, before you needed somebody, I was there for you. I'm your ultimate love. I'm your ultimate gift. There is nothing that you can do because love will cover a multitude of sins. Now, I do say to you, I want you to stand up in a court of law, and can you actually prove that you are loved by God? Well, sometimes it's a tough question, especially when you have your life on the line, and now you've got to prove it. And you know, when we stand up in a court of law, do we really look for the truth, or are we just trying to create some doubt? And if you're sitting in a place that you doubt the love that somebody, especially God, has for you, because you're just such a dirty, rotted sinner, or you've done something that could never be forgiven, well, I've got to disagree because in a court of law, you can stand up on the truth. And let's go test it. We know that by this, and I can prove it um, by science, or I can prove it just through relationships, is love is patient, love is kind, love is not self-seeking, love, love holds no records of wrongs, always looks for the good, always tells the truth, and it's constant. It's, it's that perfect black garment that can be in the sun the whole day and stays complete black and never fades to gray. Because love is always strong and always stays true. Now I want to ask you and ask yourself this question. Is God patient with you? Has he ever drawn a line and said that's enough, I'm going to trash you? No. Is he kind? 100%. Now these are yes or no questions. Eh? He either is or he isn't. So is he patient? Yes. Is he kind? Yes. Does he do it for you or himself? I mean really think about that one. He's doing it for you. Does he always look for the good in you? Absolutely. If God had to find one thing about the bad in me, I suppose I would walk away. But he always looks for the good because he knows that that good is over, going to overcome any evil. And then does he tell me the truth? He does indeed. So in a court of law, I can absolutely prove that God loves you 100%. Here's the only thing. Do you believe it? I mean, he has this beautiful love letter that's been written to you, and it's in the Word of God. And he's demonstrated it by what he did with his son on the cross to actually rescue you out of this dark world, back into his arms in heaven. What a greater love letter can there be? Nothing. Nothing better than that. Now, love is something that endures everything, and love 
everybody knows what love is and you can go see it when it comes to humans interaction with animals and with one another now obviously you've been hurt by this and i know that and i know it's tough and it's sore but it doesn't deny or cancel or take away the truth that god loves you so much unconditionally and here's the amazing thing before you even knew that he existed and this might be your first day that you're hearing this he loved you anyway in spite of everything that you have and have not done even if you've never taken notice of him he loves you unconditionally mainly because he has a purpose and a plan for you and he's got so much invested in you and you his creation who wouldn't love their creation and he loves you dearly and here he's saying that it's is patient and kind. He will wait for you. You can go through all your ups and downs. You can go through all your heartbreaks, all your anger, all your depression, every, and he is there for you. He will actually bring you out of that hole of darkness. And his very being, it says that God is love. He's patient. He's kind. He does it for you. He always looks for the good. And we've spoken about this before. You need to turn the corner and stand next to the, the Godhead to see what they say about you and, and the way that they see you. And, and um, they've got to love you. They just do. You are a very lovable, lovable person. And he will affirm that. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you that you are so gracious with us. We thank you that love will always find a way. Thank you, Father, that your love brings peace and happiness. Thank you, Father, that your love will help us love one another. But, Father, we have to learn to love you first. And, Father, we do. From the bottom of our hearts, we absolutely love you. Father, we know that that love will take us over. We thank you for your grace, your goodness, your mercy. In Jesus' name, amen.